a reading of uh, the New Testament as rendered by the uh, Gullah people, the Gullah people of uh, oh, South Carolina, where my, uh, my well, maternal side, my maternal lineage there, like that. You know, they extend down to you know, Florida, Georgia, the whole, you know, the whole Caribbean kind of cultural, you know, how they speak to like Creole, well, mix, mixed language, right? In fact, this mixed language, the Gullah language, uh, they put it, this is the, uh, like a, uh, King James Version of the New Testament, uh, and it's based on that. And you see this, the King James Version, the, well, just rather this, the Gullah Version in a larger font type. And then you have the uh, King James Version on the side to get the translation right there. And uh, let me just move, well, let's move to this page I put here. And, um, and so we read from this, we read from this, because we read because, well, we read, but I use the, uh, reading glasses because the fonts are so uh, what they are we do this uh we do we do this uh you know one to six times well we do this about, about six times a week i'll explain after let's do it because this is uh, saturday so we have to explain everything well after we do okay let's go to page of uh, 450 the apostle dem 13 and uh, let's go to 47 uh at, at the end here uh it's kind of interesting a little poetry at the end the lord done charge we for do that he tell we say, I done pit on her like a light for the people that ain't Jew. So that on her gonna tell them the way of God salvation. Uh, all over the world, ever to the place uh, that far away, far more than all the honor rest. Okay, that translation of, uh, again, we paid 450, Apostle Dem, and this is uh, 74, I mean, 47, a little dyslexic there, or I should say, not dyslexic, but how you say when you have audio Lexus? Well, uh, for so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the end of the earth. So when it says uh, from that saying, that's that saying right there, that saying right there, and then that after that, that's what the you know is it's written like that. But that's what basically that's what somebody's saying. I guess it's the Lord is saying, right? So we read this twice. Uh, the Lord don't change. For, uh, we for do that. He tell we say, I done put on her like a light for the people that ain't Jew. So that honor gonna tell them the way of God's salvation all, all over the world. Even to the place for the uh, place that far away, far more than all the other rest. Uh, so that's it. We we read it. We read it twice. Oh, oh! This is a Saturday, so I have to explain everything. Every Saturday, I explain the set and I explain what I'm going to do. Uh, I started. Um, I don't know a year ago, whatever it was. I started, and uh, what my curiosity, I knew about the Gullah Bible, but then I was listening to narrative. They they talked to and uh, Doctor Doctor Carr was talking. Greg Carr was talking about the, the Gullah Bible, so I went and ordered one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so when I ordered it, because well, I ordered it because my my great grandfather was Gullah Geechee, he's married to a Mohawk Indian, right? And uh, so I was always I'm, well. I'm curious. I was curious. Oh, I am curious. I'm keeping hold of it. I'm curious as to how like uh, when the newly freed people uh, they learned they were literate so so quickly after their freedom, you know, they were, they could read and write, you know, pretty pretty quick, you know. But the only books they had, well, back then, you know, there weren't a lot of books, you know, it wasn't like, you know, the books that were accessible to, to the masses, to, to the downtrodden, let's put it that. But the one book was the Holy Bible, the well, the King James Version of the Holy Bible, because they, they had the Gutenberg Press, and, you know, it's a propaganda, sp oh, well, I'm sorry, that's how it spread, right? So, uh, so I guess they, they, they learned to read and write from the Holy Bible, from, as rendered by, you know, King James and the, and his, and his people's, and his crew, right? 
And so that's how they're done. And so I, I, and so when they translate like that, I hear this language, and it's so like a uh, ebonic, like okay, well, let me leave all that stuff out of it. I was just curious, so I wanted to just, I figured by reading it, I could f have some sort of weird spiritual, some kind of insight into my ancestry like that, because you know everything is still in your DNA. You know your 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 lineage is in you, and it goes woo, way back, woo, way back, you know. You might not consciously know what's going on, but they, there's cells in your body where everybody, you know, what you have, da, 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 like that, you know. So, um, so that's what I did, and I, I feel I, I, it's not. I'm not. Come on now, it's just a reading every every day. I don't. Expect, in fact, I don't expect people to be listening to this, right? This is my exercise. But the thing about it is this: when I do this this exercise, first of all, I enjoy it, right? But then, you know, it's a discipline. Now, people define just by oh, discipline. I gotta, I gotta do this. I gotta do that. No, discipline is very simple. Discipline. Oh, oh, let me say this: the highest form of discipline. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm a writer. Well, I say a writer. I, I write. I'm a playwright. Okay, let's put it that. Let me just cut to the chase. I write, right? And uh, you know, what I write. But the thing about writing, it's the highest form of discipline, right? I mean, it's, it's solitary where it's the highest form of discipline. But I'm also in theater. A lot of people run away to theater because they think there's no discipline, but oh, there's a lot of discipline in theater. So you see what happens. So anyway, uh, so I just, uh, it's a consistency. Discipline is nothing but a consistency. And, and if, if you're, now if you, if you, if you dread, if you dread your discipline, I got to get up and do this exercise. I do walking every morning. Oh, I feel bad. I got to pull myself to do it. Well, that becomes a drudgery, you know, it's, and it's, it's it's still discipline and it's consistent. But, and dude, this is a joyous, let me put it, this is a joyous consistency to me. Just like my walking, I love walking. Uh, and I, I, I've learned, I do my stretching or whatever have you. It's a joyous thing for me. I'm not, you know, I don't, I'm not, I don't do it enough to re, uh, release any endorphins, so like a, a high or something like that. But I just, uh, I don't know, I've always been disciplined. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> okay, oh, oh, here's a set. Uh, so, uh, oh yeah, so uh, this is Kente Cloth, and I forgot where it came from. Sorry, yeah, but there's all kinds of different Kente Cloth. This is very unique. I just know the color. I like the colors. Uh, so I, I put this on to look some, uh, to look a, a certain way. And I have the, this is my Ogun cap, and uh, this is a, a, a who, Ogun cap. Oof. Guess another religious re reference or cultural reference. Uh, Ogun, uh, you know it from uh, Yoruba culture. In, uh, in Nigerian Euro culture, but his colors in that culture is blue. But when that culture went over to through slavery and all that stuff, when it went over to uh, Brazil, the colors became blue and white. Okay, under Condomble. But then it went up to up to North America through uh, Cuba to North America. Well, through Cuba, North America, the colors again changed for some reason. I don't know. I guess I should. I got my own book. I'm gonna look at. I'm gonna. I'm gonna research all this stuff. Uh, it changed to uh, green, black with a bit of red, with a bit of red. You know, this is a reversible thing. So on the other side is black, right? So I think I have. A, I'm not gonna show that to you. Oh, yes, I think I will. Uh, if you got a, well, I'll show it to you as I as I continue, if I can find it here, because you know. But, oh, here it is, right here, right there. So here's a, here's another. I got this from actually from a restaurant. One of my favorite. I have a few favorite restaurants on the planet that I know, and so. One one side is black, right? The other side is green, right? And then you have the red, you know, the bit of red, you know. So I consider this my agoon cap. So I'm doing a, 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 a ritual, a spiritual thing. So that's so I, I put it up like this. So it looks more. I look here. We go. I love this word. Big word. Ecumenical. <laughs> You know, like the cap. I grew up Catholic, so you know they have the be the food, the hat, like that. Then all those people like that. They always have something. I guess. I guess it's to protect. You know, when the spirits come down, if they be doing something wrong or right or wrong, right or whatever, they can't get into your your body through the crown for your head. Because you remember, uh, uh, you your uh, uh, once your your head sort of uh, your skull sort of uh, fuses together. Lastly, like you're about, I think it's like twenty about twenty five years old. Up until then, you know, people is like, you know, young people they do they, they quit because you're open to everything and blah blah blah. But when it close, but that means there must be some sort of you know portal through there or ports or whatever it is. Look, I'm just speculating. So, uh, so, so a lot of cultures, you know, you you should be wearing something on your head. 
even though some cultures, like when they have the, uh, like say the yarmulke, right? A little spot. I here's my story. If I was I'm an audio drama, just if I was writing a play, I say, now you know how that started because some dude was vain and he wanted to cover up his bald ball spot. Okay, okay, you know, or the or the, or kufis or or, or with, with the the the. Uh, the uh, Muslims wear, you know, Islamic people wear whatever, something to cover up your head. In fact, I had one time, I was, like I said, I'm a child of a goon, that's why I do this. But one time I was doing something, and somebody in the culture, well, a new, a new person in the culture, I was going to do something, they was giving me something to put on my head. I said, no, nah, I don't need that. <laughs> First of all, I'm not in the culture. But secondly, I, I just, this is the way I'm, I live dangerously, <laughs> as far as culture goes. Like I say, Hey, the spirit going to come and get me? Come and get me. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to tell you all. Especially, I'm, a, I'm of the age right now. Is I I really, look, I've been through so much stuff in this life. Every day that I live beyond what I've lived beyond, it's, it's I guess you always say blessing, but it's like cherry on the cake, whatever. It's, 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 it's whatever. So I live, I'm joyous because every day beyond, <laughs> beyond this day is a joyous time. I'm, I'm surprised I'm still here. In fact, one time, let me tell you. I was uh, living on my apartment on the upper lower side of 14th Street. And it was those tenement apartments where you had the bathtub is actually in the kitchen. You know, it's like a, like that. you have the kitchen, and the bathtub, the, the water closet. Then you have a room, like we call the living room, then a little space for the bedroom, and a loft, and whatever. So that you take the bath in the, uh, in the uh, in, in, well, you take the bath. It's a, it's a nice bathtub, though. I love those big bathtubs. So I was taking the bath, and a girlfriend of mine was there. And I remember she was smoking a cigarette, right? Then she's looking at me. Oh, I was saying something. But she said, she said, you know, you should have been dead a long time ago. Oh, let's, let's leave that alone. But there's a radio on top of it. She said, you know, I could just push this electronic, this radio, this like, plugged up radio into the thing and you would be gone. She said, you're lucky because at the time, in New York, there's a, you know, they have the death penalty, right? <laughs> Basically, she said, if it wasn't for me being in New York and death penalty, I, she would eliminate me. <laughs> I said, oh, come on, baby, you know black you know how black people are. You know how black men are. Oh baby, stop playing. You know I love you. Blah 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 blah. That's how we beat, you know. That's back in the day. I was calm down now. In fact, this is my current wife. Right here. Back there. That's uh fact well that's that's her right there. You see that's me and her right there. Uh up here this is a picture of uh, I call this uh three cats in Cape Town. Uh this is uh Cicleta. He's a He's a he's a staunchly v a Zulu man, right? In fact, see, I have the Zulu. He, he gifted me that Zulu headdress, and plus the Zulu, this uh, I guess I gotta show you here like this, you know, the vest, the Zulu vest like that. And I got it there. And I got the, I got my Nobo Radio's uh, little stitch thing that my wife, again, my wife, made like that. Uh, don't we look like we're in any country? Well, we're actually in South Africa right here, but let's look at like we're in Jamaica. It could be any place in the, in the, you know, the known universe. You know, be South Africa, something like that. That's the guys right there. This picture, here, this started a series. See, this me. This this is a, a Rasta guy that I don't, I didn't know him. I was just we said uh, uh, I think it was at Ganesh, yeah, in uh, Cape Town, down at uh, Observatory. Anyway, so I took the, I took that selfie picture. I just like it. It's just so beautiful. It's a beautiful picture to me, and so. Uh, and so I just like, but that started this thing because you see, see the hat that I'm wearing here and the hat that he's wearing, but the hat that I wear there, and there's a hat here with this little girl. Uh, she's, I call this where it, it was this conspiracy we're hatching, right? But that little girl is this, is the daughter of this guy here. This is father, uh, Ian, a really good friend of mine. And, uh, and, and so, so anyway, so that started a whole series of, uh, of, 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 of taking, uh, right now in the, um, uh, in uh, the Basel, where I have my project of uh, uh, it's a it's a community center project, you know, and it's I'll get to it some other time, but not for this. I'm supposed to be defining everything. Oh, but I told you about the the uh, the Nobo Radio statue right there, the thing right there on this side here. That's an ancient picture of, of Africa, right there, a map of Africa. Let me move this thing up to it. A map before before the colonizers went colonized, carved it up, right. And here you have this, uh, that's the thing on Henry Dumas, or article on Henry Dumas, which I'm a Henry Dumas denizen. Uh, this here, that back there, you see, this is a dude, you know, he's like a scholarship, so I just, he looked like an intellectual dude, so I, he was on a calendar, so I just like the pictures, I, I put it up there, and he's a, uh, well, interestingly enough, he looks like Louis Latterman to me. Oh, and this is my, this is my symbol. I have a symbol. Uh, this, this, well, I have a personal symbol, this is, well, it's a symbol. 
from West Africa uh, from I think it's from the from the uh, the uh, what's the name? Not the European people. Those other people. Uh, anyway, it's called uh, uh, Naisapo is the pronunciation, uh, and it, it means wisdom knot. And I have it in red, black, and green here, like that. I guess paying homage to you know the Hotep brothers and people like that. Uh, but this is on the back of uh, the uh, John Henry Clark T-shirt. But I have another. I have this in another color. Where is it at? Uh, right here. From the Colbert Report. This is a uh, a radical. This is a, a Colbert Report. Is they do a lot of. He does really good research and stuff like that. He's a, he's, a, he's out of a, a northern part of Japan, but I like him. But anyway, on the back of his shirt, I have these colors. I have these colors here, same thing. So it's different colors. So every so on a set, sometimes they do that. There. And then I have also have on a, oh, where's the other day? Because I think it must be in a wash. All the stuff's in a the wash. There's another. Uh, oh, here it is. This is a thing from uh, from Nubia. You know, the, the literary people out of, you know, the the middle class people, I was going to say that. You know, Greg Carr and then, uh, what's her name, Karen Hunter, like that. But this is Nubia. Uh, and it's uh, Power by Narr Narrative is their organization, Nubia's this thing. But I was, when they first started, I jumped on it right away. And this this I just have in black and white. So it, it, so you'll see the back. This Every once in a while you'll see me. You'll see that in the, in the picture like that. What else can I tell you? <laughs> and that's it. That's the set. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sitting in my, in my, in my reading chair. Uh, chill and I read like that. Oh, and oh, I'm sorry. And up here you have the uh, flag by uh, oh god, what's that guy? David Hammonds, right? Is art? Is art really an art piece? Right? People think it's. I don't know what they think it is. But it's an art piece. I really like it, and I might get another big one. But I, but but I, but I like it. I like it a lot. And over there, okay, that's uh that's the uh, how do you say that? My uh, uh, what do you call that? My uh, the the front page, the title page, whatever of my resume. Which is, uh, you know, it says Anthony J. Sloan, cultural, cultural revolutionary. See, in culture, I'm a revolutionary. In, uh, in uh, real life, whatever I have, I'm an evolutionary. You see? See how that works? Okay, like that. That's it. Oh, of course, you have the American flag because we're in, we're in America. <laughs> People want to deny the Americanism. I don't know how, why they do that, but they try to do that. And that's it. You know, there's other stuff, but, but there's nothing to concern you, right? Okay, so that's it. This is Saturday. I've, I've explained the set. I explained things right now. It's a set. Oh, look, I'm, I'm drinking a beer. Drinking some uh, from Guinness. Oh, I had a, I had a rough week. I don't drink a lot, you know, but it's Guinness. And I guess this is a this is a religious thing. I shouldn't be doing beer. I should be doing wine. No. Oh, oh, just uh, oh, tomorrow is uh, Sunday. Sunday we have our Sunday sermons, and that comes up. Some of my books up here. That comes. We we read uh, from. Uh, we read from Sunday sermons. We read from the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept book by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. It's a, 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 a what is called a com compensatory counter racist code book. This one is the re revised edition from uh, 2016. This is the uh, revised and expanded edition of this um, textbook workbook. See, so it's, it's a it's a workbook. It's a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, and white supremacy. Somebody, some, uh, uh, somebody sent me some uh, email. They were saying they was trying to do something with religion. I said, "Look, I only deal with three. I, I, I like, I'm, I'm, I follow Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. To me, there's only three categories, right? There's non-white, there's white, and there's white supremacy. Anything else you can say what you want, right? And and and, uh, well, let me do it now since I brought it up. And here it is. Oh uh, well, non-white speak for it, like like that." Talking about this power equation right now, the where, where the world is, people, the way people do it is. Then you have white people. Then you have the white supremacists. Not all white people are white supremacists, right? But the white supremacists are the ones that create all this havoc and people people aspire to be that, right? So even you might have a, a black person, you say, well, they can't be a white supremacist. No, but it, we, they, the white supremacists created a system. So you are, you are a, a uh, 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 how do you say, uh, you are in the system of racism, white supremacy. So you could be black or whatever, Chinese, whatever you want to be, 
But if you aspire to, or you are doing things that a white supremacist like, you are aging, become an agent of the white supremacist, whether you're white or not, then, you know, you're doing the bidding of that system. A classic is, oh, example is right now, they have this thing, Fauci is being brought out, but they just have court deposition. And it finds out that how they came up with all those COVID things and something like that. Fauci said somebody to China, and the Chinese government uh, advised them, like, no, we got a COVID is this, world. And they went whole hog, came back and told Fauci, and they said the policies that we had set in, 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 uh, for COVID and this, this whole pandemic and whatever that is directly from what they learned in China, which basically the dictatorship, the, the whatever you want to call it, the communism of China dictated the policy of this democracy. And so basically, the Chinese, this guy became it basically, if you want to put it this way, an agent for the Chinese government. And then, and then, and then we all will buy into whatever we're buying into. We become agent of the government, of our government, which was influenced by the Chinese <laughs> dictator. So basically, we're all, look, what I'm trying to say is that unless you are working against this system, right, you you are proper if you if you're doing anything that's propping up this or you do anything that you want to be a white supremacist, then basically you're an agent, right? You're an agent of that system, and the system, it, whether it's you think you're in a democratic system, a fascist system, whatever it is, it, it, the source for this particular the the, the the example right now we're given is from is from a, a, a totalitarian dictator, whatever you want to call it, a country, you know, China, you know. So how the how the system works out, it still does the bidding of the people that's in charge. Ah, you all, you all will figure it out, man. Let me not, let me not continue with this. I'm gonna talk too long already. All right, so that's it for me. T from the Pattersons, take the trains to bed. Let you know what I only suspect. <laughs>